All right, we are Car Cave in Aiken, South Carolina. We have a 97 Toyota Land Cruiser FZJ80 with a 1F motor, not the FE, so it's carbureted, 4.5 liter. Um, the build date was 96, titled as a 97 model year. Um, date of first registration when it was registered was January of 1997. According to the paperwork, it says 96 on the door panel. So what's cool about this one, is the GCC spec there are some unique features here so I just got through writing it up um, my memory is pretty good right now so we'll start with the front end of it you do have a gold grill um, I remember from what we didn't get right for pictures there was a little bit of tape on the front if you see it in the pictures it was from the license plate stuck on there it was double side tape we got it off so it might be in the pictures but don't worry about it, it came off so gold grill is a little bit faded that's the sad part but it's still that GCC spec. We didn't want to refinish it since it is original. I have one of my assistants here with me. Say hi. Do you like this one? Yes. And um, it has the Habilead Practical Max AT tires on it. I'm sure whoever gets it, they're going to switch the tires out. That's something that's pretty easy to do. We didn't want to commit to a tire because everyone has their own type of tire they want. Now, if you look, it does have a smooth roof here and it never had a roof rack mount. It also doesn't have a moon roof. And then we get to the back and you have the rear ambulance doors. And the tire, what does help, you want to crawl in there, jump in. So you have the rear tire carrier. Your tire is relocated up to the back side, it's attached to the door. It actually has a cool little pivot movement in there. It swings across. And then the rear bench seats. Now, the one thing it does not have, there are no factory seat belts in the back here. So if you are riding, my kids already have, um, you, know, you don't have seat belts. We're well, just, there are seat belts back there, right? In the second row? Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, but we do have, this neat little feature, you have a rear cargo space AC. So you do have a dome light, you have controls for the AC there. Um, this car was a one owner, from what we can tell, just because the service. Oh, thank you for crawling on our seats in our clean car. Uh, you know, it looked like OEM vacuum line. Someone just gave it a fresh tune up. It was being taken care of. Um, it does have a repaint. It is good work. Um, we don't notice any imperfections in it or trash or anything, which you see in a lot of repaints. So anyway, um, oh, other door first. You got to shut the other one first. Get the other door first. Thank you. So you have this cool pattern seat. has a little bit of blue in it, a little bit of gray in it. Yeah, a little bit of mixture. You do have power windows. As you notice, there is one speaker cover missing. We have it on order, so it should be here so we can replace it. These seats do still tilt forward so you can bring the whole thing up i don't have two hands to show it but they do tilt so power windows power locks the rear bench and then excuse me you can see this altimeter and also your sub fuel tank so when we go back to the fuel which will pop there you have your fuel fill here you actually pull this out well i missed it same with our detail guy cleaning the gas tank door you need to clean a little bit better in here still a little bit of dirt there so open the cap slowly pull up on the tank knob to fill the sub tank after filling up push down on the knob so that has a little slide movement there's a tank here and then you have your saddle tank up front which is your primary. I believe the rear is the secondary yeah. and it shows low. I was under it earlier and kind of tapped on it. Yeah. Do you like that one, Zelda? Yeah. All right. right there. So inside you have part-time four wheel drive. So it is selectable part-time. You do have the cooler box here. So the option of ice and cool. We have not tested the ice yet. We need to get to that one. 
got the rear AC and your sub fuel tank buttons. Let's see if we can focus a little better right down there. Uh, tilt wheel. And then we saw this from the back altimeter, the tilt meter. And that should be it really going over the features. Um, and it currently has 168,000. Remember this is kilometers. 168,768 kilometers. Um, tilt wheel, power mirrors, power locks, and normal handbrake in the middle. Cup holder intact. Glove box. And if you notice, there are not airbags up here either. So you do have a little bit different dash. So it does change the layout and how you, your whole cluster here is set up on these. So it's a little bit different than the US spec model. And that is, uh, that should wrap this portion. We'll do some driving videos. We're gonna take it out for social. If you have any questions, um, you know, give us a call. You need undercarriage photos, you wanna learn more, just let us know. Hey! Oh, there's lights? The yeah. dome light works. You are a very good assistant. We have a demonstration. The dome light works. And here too. Do we have lights? Yeah. Good job. And the door light opens. We just have these mats temporarily in here. The carpets are in good shape underneath. That was a little piece of trash. So we'll go back around the bumpers. They did paint the bumpers. I do like the steel wheels. But yeah, good looking Land Cruiser. And both ACs work, the cooler box works. If you have any questions, let us know. It's uh, www.carcaveusa.com or 803-262-4742. It looks like the little one's ready to go for a ride. You ready? Yeah. You ready to go? Yeah. Cool, let's do it. <laughs>